Hi everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Survival Minecraft. Now this is me, Chris Haraldson, and I have managed to do what I thought was impossible. I restored my old survival world. Da 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 da. It was a uh, pretty long and grueling process. It wasn't that straightforward or simple, but we're here. Finally. And this is my far away outpost. I traveled to this area because I I thought I met somebody on the lake. But it occurred to me throughout that period that was just after I built my mushroom farm, and I was eating a lot of mushrooms. And sometimes when you eat a lot of mushrooms, you can, uh, well, you can hallucinate, and I suspect that's what happened. I was probably rowing across that ocean high as a kite and thought I ran into somebody. Now this is all the stuff that I brought from my compound. Some of this I got along the way, but most of this is from my compound. And that is where we are going to be going. It's been well over a year since I've been back there. And once I get back, I'm going to stay there forever. Nothing will make me want to leave it ever again. So let's suit up. Oh, I miss this sword. I've had this for y years. I just keep mending it. I miss this puppy. And there's my spider sword. Touch. There's my bow. Crossbow. Plenty of arrows. I play Minecraft using the same layout no matter where I am. Torches. Shovel. Axes. My trident, hoe, fishing pole, cauldron, water, I don't really suppose I need the milk. I don't really suppose I need these pickaxes either. I don't have an ender chest here, which is really stupid. At least I don't think I do. I have to kind of re refresh my memory. It's been so long since I've been here. There's a portal, but I hadn't, um, I don't have the coordinates for my nether base on hand, so I don't want to start trekking through the nether chanting room. It's 
So I have, um, you know what, I'm going to leave the buckets here. These milk buckets I don't need. Like I have to figure out what I want to take back with me, and that's going to be quite difficult. We'll take back on this trip anyway. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces. Guess I can uh, gee whiz, look at all that. Some nice enchanted books. And the sun is going down. Nothing there. I've got cobblestone, I've got you know, I need, I should probably take some more torches. And some wood, just in case I run into any problems. I don't think I will. I've got plenty of food. I'll take even more food take all this steak, I think. Chest, crafting table. I'll take some of this iron back with me. Or will I? Yeah, I'll take, um, Iron, diamonds. Take, um... A full stack of something else. And I'll take, um, boy, this is tricky. I only have one inventory space left. More torches, I guess, I suppose. All right, we're all suited up. Let's get back to my compound, which is a very long way off. And I have a trail of torches. I circumnav- when I come to an ocean, I circumnavigate it. So if we follow the torches, they will lead us back Oh, we don't want to be too close to the shore. It is night, after all. It's a bit of a shame, because this is a nice area. Maybe someday I'll return. But uh, I think around this ocean there's um, there's some kind of a oh yeah that's right there's a house that I built a house in a big tall mountain so that's going to be the first stopover point for us. There's a zombie up there. You know, I kind of miss the days before this um, ocean update. Because in those days, there weren't any uh, 
drowned zombies to worry about. There weren't any phantoms to worry about. No matter what time of day it was, as long as you were on the water, you were safe. Not so anymore. Uh, let's see, I've only been around one side, so this should be pretty easy. So as long as we see torches, we can just cut right across. I don't want to go too far out. Go this way and don't see anything that way. What's over here? There's a big island. Oh. Hang on a second. Are there two torches here? Or just one? Just one. So we still have to go this way, I, th I guess. Yeah. I'm so excited to get back. I've missed my compound more than I can say. I never thought I'd get this world back. Thought it was gone forever. So I'm dead chuffed that that isn't the case. We need to avoid that. It's like a magma spout down there. A lot of activity on that bank. There's a torch. And the sun will be coming up before too long, which will actually make things a little bit more difficult because we won't be able to see the torches. Here's a zombie. Torch dead ahead. Right, now the sun's coming up. But I'm 
pretty sure we're getting somewhat close to the area where I have that house in the sky. I think, maybe. There's a torch. There's another one. I remember that. We need to go this way, straight through here. Yeah, there were mountains like that where I built that house in the sky. Looks like uh, there's a boat talk, so I think we're on foot from here on out. Yeah, there's a, a trail of torches leading this way. Now as long as we follow these torches, we won't get lost. a village off to the right. And the torches lead right to this village. But we're not going to be stopping in. No, sir. Where did the torches go? don't want to fall down there. Oh, isn't this brilliant? Don't tell me that I didn't mark my path. Oh yeah, I did. We're okay. an outpost building over there. So 
So that's the first leg of the journey done, but we still have a long, long way to go.